All right, guys, we're back at the church for an update. You can see here, boom. We got grass, but we got weeds. Uh, now, people have been asking me, why don't we just pull out the weeds? There's all this grass. Good grass right there. All right, let's be honest here. This is one of those uh-oh moments where you realize you forgot the bagger. So I'm gonna attempt to mulch mow, and hopefully it's not gonna smother the grass. And if it does, then I'm gonna have to pull out a rake and be very careful. Now it's important when you're mowing fresh grass like this that you go slowly. All right, now I'm sure you're wondering, oh, is that a huge mistake? Well, for grass to grow, it needs water, it needs sun, it needs soil too, but that's a given. Uh, and with all those weeds over the top, there's no way it was gonna get the sun. But if you look now, Right, this is the thickest area where the crabgrass was huge, but look how thick the good grass is as well. If I never cut it down, eventually that grass would die too, and then we wouldn't have a lawn. This is gonna be the busiest street I've ever been on. You know how many times I've had to stop and edit and, oy, just just need a, a minute of quiet so I can tell you guys what's going on here. All right, and the, uh, the Honda actually uh, mowed the bits up really well. I'm really pleased with that, so no smothering going on. And now it's been two weeks, so now the water is at once a day instead of uh, four times a day. So there you go.